Hi friends, today topic is uh, typical OLAP operations on data warehouse what are the operations we can perform on OLAP what are the operations we can perform. So uh, roll up, drill down, slice and dice, pivot these are the operations we can perform on data warehouse. First roll up, roll up means uh, just now people summarizing the data so from lower level to higher level we are going so from lower level so several uh, records can be combined I can move and we can represent uh, uh, it in a single row so like that a number of rows can be combined and we can represent a, in a single row means number of rows can be decreased so that is from lower level to higher level that is the roll up next drill down drill down means from higher level to lower level this is just a reverse of a roll up from higher level summary to lower level summary or detailed data for introducing new dimensions that is nothing but just a higher level data can be divided into lower level so that means one record can be divided into here number of records and from higher level to lower level the data can be uh, the data can be divided into number of records that is nothing but detailed data so the next uh, slice and dice slice is nothing but project operation that is nothing but some columns we will get next dice is nothing but select operation rows we will get some of the rows we will get next pivot pivot is nothing but a rotation of slice operation so simply I can say rotation of slice operation. I am explaining these uh, OLAP operations uh, with an example. Here in the center we are having three dimensional cube. It contains uh, three dimensions such as uh, time, item and uh, locations. So time consists of these parameters uh, quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3, quarter 4. So different items we are having along the y axis. Home entertainment, computer, phone, security locations uh, different cities we are having Vancouver, uh, Toronto, New York, Chicago so this is the central three dimensional cube uh, this is the OLAP or data warehouse on this uh, data warehouse or uh, 3D cube we will perform uh, these operations roll up, uh, drill down, slice, dice, pivot so first we will see roll up operation so roll up is nothing but from uh, lower level to higher level we will go so we will combine uh, records and we will represent it as a single record. So here uh, along the z-axis we are having locations, different cities we are having. So in the, in the cities, uh, uh, Vancouver, uh, Toronto, these are the two cities in Canada city. So same as New York and Chicago, these are the two cities in USA. Uh, these can be combined as shown in the figure, these uh, two Toronto, Vancouver can be combined as a uh, Canada and can be represented in, a, represented in a single row as shown in figure so New York Chicago these are two rows here in the central queue uh, in the center uh, these can be represented as a single row here so this is nothing but the roll up operation so in the figure we can observe clearly how the roll up can be performed and uh, these cities can be combined these uh, 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 two cities Toronto Vancouver combined into a Canada, so New York, Chicago combined into USA. So that is nothing but the roll up operation. Next, drill down operation. Drill down is nothing but, as we have seen, uh, so drill down is nothing but just from higher dimension to lower dimension. So that each and every record can be divided into some further sub records. One record can be divided into number of records. Here, the in the along the x-axis, we are having a time. Uh, we are having a time that that is uh, that can be divided into quarters quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3, quarter 4 that can be rep represented in the center like that so this can be uh, divided as shown in the figure drill down for time so from quarters to months so the quarters can be represented here in the center those quarter each and every quarter can be divided into months here uh, the quarters can be di divided into months or divided as shown in the figure so quarter 1 divided into 3 months January, February, March, quarter 2 divided into 3 months, April, May, June, quarter 3, uh, July, August, September, quarter 4, October, November, December. So this is nothing but drill down operation. Next is slice, slice operation. Uh, slice for time equal to Q1. So slice is nothing but uh, uh, part of Q1, uh, I can say. Uh, so here for time Q1, for quarter 1, so uh, slice is nothing but for all items, all locations for quarter one. Okay, for quarter one uh, time, uh, so for quarter one time, so all the locations and all the items we will represent here as shown in the figure. So pivot is nothing but just rotating. 
uh, rotating the slice result so uh, above we can see along the x axis we are having uh, locations along the y axis we are having items here after after a pivot operation performed here we are having uh, along the x axis we are having items along the y axis we are having locations so this is nothing but just rotation of a slice operation result so that is pivot next dice operation so dice operation is nothing but uh, this is a dice for location equal to toronto or one cover uh, next and uh, time equal to q1 and q1 or q2 and item equal to home entertainment or computer so uh, here uh, for dice we will get uh, all the three dimensions as shown in the figure so uh, two cities we will get and uh, two items we will get and two quarters we will get uh, that is a dice operation result this is about olap operations